Hey guys, welcome back to another Titus Diorama and Toy Reviews. And in today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Shuri from the Black Panther Wave. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so before we move on to the actual packaging, I do want to point out one quick thing. I did buy this particular figure second hand from one of the local uh, toy stores that we have in the area. Uh, and the figure did not come with the Hulk Build-A-Figure piece, which is perfectly fine with me. I'm not looking to build that particular Build-A-Figure. And I wanted to pick this figure up to go with my MCU Black Panther that I have. That stated guys, as you can see, Shuri comes in that standard window box packaging that allows you to see the figure and the accessories that she comes with. The side of the packaging has some really nice artwork and of course the back of the packaging has another piece of great artwork, a small bio here at the top and it also shows you all the other figures you would need in order to complete the Hulk build a figure. Now with that stated guys let's go ahead and get Shuri out of the packaging. All right guys, so here's Shuri out of the packaging. And overall, I think Hasbro did a great job of capturing the MCU actress uh, in a figure form. Uh, I do like the accessories that she does come with, which is of course her Panther cannons that uh, clip over her arms. Um, if you can see here, they just clip on their tight um, grip there. So once you clip them on, they're a little hard to get off. Um, but I do like the effects, uh, making it look like she's actually fired them or is about to fire them. Um, the paintwork on this uh, figure is really amazing. Um, the only kind of lacking part to this particular figure uh, is the articulation. Uh, and that's mainly to do with the torso area. Uh, but let's go over that real quickly here. Um, so first she can look up this far. She can look down pretty far. Um, she can definitely look left and right. She's got a little bit of the head tiltage there. Uh, her arms can do a full 360. They can go this far out, go this far in. Um, the swivel uh, on the arms is at the actual elbow joint. Um, she has a single jointed elbow, uh, which lets her get about 90 degrees angle. And of course she can go all the way straight out. Um, the wrists do have a hinge and a swivel when you do not have the uh, accessories on. Um, the ab crunch is barely even existent. It barely goes back and barely goes forward. Um, you can rotate her. There is no hip swivel. Um, due to the hard plastic cloth good, um, this limits her legs. So she can only put her legs uh, as splits about this far. She can only kick about that far forward, and she can't really kick too far back with it. Um, she does have an upper thigh swivel. She does have double jointed knees, again, hindered by the um, saw, the um, cape thing that she has on. Um, there is no upper thigh or upper boot cut. Um, she can kick her foot this far back, a little bit forward, and she does have ankle pivot, although it's very stiff on this particular figure that I have. Um, I do find her feet being a little bit small, um, so it is a little bit hard to kind of get her to stand or pose her, but once you get it, it's pretty good. Um, overall, guys, uh, I'm really glad that I got this particular figure in my collection to go beside my MCU Black Panther. Uh, and because it was secondhand, I didn't pay as much as I would uh, if it was brand new. Um, if you are a Black Panther fan and you want to pick up this figure, I definitely suggest looking around at your local shops or um, buying it um, online. Overall guys, I'm really, like I said, glad to have this particular action figure in my collection. If you like this video, by all means, go ahead and click on that like button. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, click on the subscription button and also click on that bell notification so you can be updated with any new content that I put out. And as always guys, stay nerdy.